This classic whistle-stop presentation is brought to you by OutWest. Love the West? So do we. Click the icon or go to scvoutwest.com. Railroad Update. Showing what's new in equipment, products, service on today's railroads and related industries. This is a story about change. Change in the way operates your business. Change in the way the Santa Fe Railway serves you. And nobody likes change. Our initial reaction is frequently one of distrust, sometimes one of wait and see. And yet we all recognize that change has dynamics of its own. It's dictated often by complex factors like time and technology, factors far beyond our immediate control. And when this happens, there's only one response. Change is the answer. Our story of change begins here at the Town Depot in another time when the steel plow and the steel rail together changed the face of Western America. The steel plow made cultivation of the prairie possible, and the railroad brought the markets of the world a giant step closer. The agricultural revolution ushered in by the reaper would give farmers for the first time the means to improve productivity. The reaper and other mechanical devices made it possible for the farmer to harvest more grain in less time. In 1830, 91% of America's population was rural. By the turn of the century, less than half would live on farms. Small town America in 1900. In many ways, the depot was the center of town. The railroad was the link with the outside world. And while it carried cattle and grain from the west to the markets of the east, it brought the products of the industrial world to the farmer's door, as well as relatives, new settlers, and traveling salesmen. Everything and everybody traveled by train. The depot was also the hub of communications for the town. The telegraph brought news, war and peace, the election of a president, the price of wheat. The station agent wore many hats in those days. Telegrapher and freight agent, ticket seller and baggage handler, he did it all, and still found time to sit a spell and speculate on the events of the day with the hangers-on. In many ways, it was a simpler time. No credit cards, no energy crisis, but change was coming, and coming fast. The years between the world wars saw change accelerate. nature of farming changed, so did the farmer, as he applied science and the techniques of business to agriculture. Today, American farm products reach around the world. The cost of new technology has made farming and the entire agribusiness industry Capital intensive. How are you yields going this year, Fred? Yeah, it's been pretty good. 
most of your bowls here look like they're going as five lock range out here and counting the seeds here they're eight and nine seeds per lock so you must be getting some pretty good yield out of this this is a good indication of what they're going oh yeah good fluffy bowls yeah. the foliation worked well in the warm weather the last five years have produced the uh, greatest amount of changes uh, since the advent of the cotton picker in the, in the 40s in this year right now in 1980 we've had the first four row cotton picker come out we've got about 10 or 12 of those in san joaquin valley since that time, we've come along with a field stored cotton during the, the last five years, ten years probably in the neighborhood, but more recently is the increased use of the module builder in the field. Well, we're trying to improve our ginning methods whereby we can get more cotton per man hour invested. Uh, the, the constant improvements, we were, our gin capacities ten years ago were probably running around about eight to maybe nine bales an hour tops, and today we're looking at 20, anywhere from 20 to 35 bales an hour in some of our newer modern gins. We do have to constantly improve in order to uh, stay up with the competition. It's one of the innovations that have improved the picking operation was uh, to replace the old boxes that the pickers would pick into and go to a bulk handling bin. Then through mechanization of putting a forklift truck into the field, we're able to uh, get the fruit out uh, much more economically and with much less damage, which is, of course, to the growers' advantage. There have been changes, certainly, uh, in the marketing and even at the growing level. We do have some new innovations in pattern pack that semi-automatically packs oranges. We, as growers, have to become business persons in order for us to survive. And therefore, we spend a lot of time improving ourselves, improving our technology, uh, and the knowledge of all the elements of the business related to citrus. And those that don't won't survive the business. There's no doubt about it in my mind. In the years that I've been in the uh with this firm, uh, the industry has grown uh, substantially, and of course, Christian Brothers has shared in that growth. We've changed from uh, hand case stacking into rail cars to today uh, we're using unitized loading clamp trucks. Our productivity has increased substantially through the years because of this unitized loading. A great deal of changes in technology, uh, particularly in our winemaking operation, and then also in our uh, packaging and distribution operation. We are always looking for new ideas or new methods for producing our products. We feel that uh, change is the essence of growth. Over the years, we've sophisticated to try to meet the needs of a, of a growing modern agriculture. In the office here, in our trading floor, we have the uh, machines that record the changes in the Chicago and Kansas City markets almost instantaneously so that we can talk with customers and quote exactly what's going on. With the advent of Watts lines, the advantages of computers, with CRTs, the world today is much more knowing than it's ever been at any time in past history. I would say that all of us have to be prepared for change. Yes, the farmer has faced many challenges and has proven himself adept at meeting the changing requirements of the marketplace and the changing needs of his business. And like farming, the railroad has been changing too. The telegraph represented almost instantaneous communication in its day. With it, an agent could find out when the eastbound left the last station, warn of a washout, or have the local pick up a load on the siding. The telephone brought him closer to his customers. Information was important to the railroad then. Today, it's critical. In fact, you could say the railroad today runs on information. Santa Fe car 530, Santa Fe Calway yard. Yeah, Bill, about 8 o'clock, we'll have a 309 in here. Hello, Power Bureau. This is Terminal Tire at Argentine. Josh, I'm going to take the uh, 46 yeah, to the hump engine there. And let's go get West receiving 21. We'll pull it back. 188 D1. 
We've got a 189 coming in here about midnight to split. We've got a 588 about 2 o'clock in the morning to split. Okay, Vance, thank you. Looks like we're going to have a pretty good day there, Parsons. Okay, and then a 348B1. Let's do it. Santa Fe's communications facility in Topeka, Kansas. Here, Santa Fe's 4,000-mile microwave network and 12,000 miles of landlines channel information into the central computer system. This information system gathers data about freight cars, train movements, and billings, sorts it out, and makes it available for our people to provide better service for you. The system that made our car utilization so much better is one that took thousands of hours to develop and represents many millions of dollars in expenditures. Uh, we have continually improved the system uh, until the day we are only seconds behind reality. Yes. Yeah, Roy, we got an extra car on the list of track 426. The Santa Fe 622 286 is the DF. For example, up to the minute information about what happens in our yards is critical. Any move we make goes into the computer. And we then can tell at a glance what our yard looks like at any time. And this helps our customers. Santa Fe, uh, Alan, that Santa Fe 622-286 goes to Shafters. We'll put it in track 12. Track 12, Roger. Don't go away. There's another part to this presentation brought to you by OutWest. Shop. Look and listen right here at WhistleStopUSATV.com.